Okay, I want to look at a different way to kind of quantify the landscape. Um, this is the great city of Boston. We're finally out of Maine and trying to kind of look at more, uh, you know, local, we'll say larger scale, small extent areas. And um, I want to try to look at property. I think property is very interesting. Uh, you might notice how, okay, yep, this is downtown Boston. This is uh, the north end and... Um, you know, you've got really interesting kind of development patterns here. You've got residential, commercial, um, industrial, kind of lighter residential. And I want to actually look at this information in terms of how much um, land costs kind of per acre. I think that would be an interesting way to visualize the city, whether it's for commercial purposes or residential purposes. So what we're going to do is download some parcel data and kind of the tax, pro the property taxes for each parcel in Boston, and then kind of visualize that in a map so that we can see how much each of these uh, these kind of areas is worth. And um, I think it's going to be kind of a cool tutorial. So the first thing I did was I just went up here and I downloaded, I went to parcel, uh, ta uh, parcel tax, um, shapefile Boston and you'll see one of the first things that pops up is okay city of Boston dot gov slash assessing assessing data so I just kind of click that assessing data and mapping resources city of Boston and what it brings us to is this assessing data resources page and I could either hit expand all answers or just click individually I'll just say expand all answers so I can see everything and pretty quickly I can see, okay, yep, you can get bulk parcel data for all properties in the city. Um, and you follow th this link here, property assessment data. Okay, open that in a new tab. Um, property map data, is that available to the public? Uh, indeed it is. It's publicly um, available information. So I'm going to click view parcel data as well. And these two are going to be useful because I'm guessing that this parcel data is going to be just the parcel shape file, meaning what are the shapes of the parcels and what are their ID numbers. Um, but it's probably not going to show us every single piece of information about every single parcel. And this other one is probably going to be more tabular. It's going to give us the ID of every parcel and then lots of information about it, but there won't be kind of a shape on the ground. So we'll have to make these two work together. And aha, it looks like I was correct. Um, cityofboston.gov, data Boston, you know, here's the URL if you need to find it. Um, and we've got parcel ID, um, a whole wealth of information about every single parcel, um, address, um, who owns it, the mailing address, um, you know, oh, here we go, we finally got to it here. Um, gross tax right here, this is probably what we're going to end up using. So these are taxes per year, I think. We'll have to kind of look at the metadata and see what they say. Um, year built, year remodeled, living area, number of floors. There's a lot of really interesting things here. Uh, style of building, roof type, I mean, pretty much anything you ever want to know um, about, a, about a parcel. So I'm going to download this table. Um, I'm going to click the export option here. And it lets me have all these options. And I'm just going to say we want the comma separated value. Um, I'm just going to do regular CSV, not for Excel, because I'm not going to assume you have Excel. You can either use um, Google Spreadsheets or OpenOffice, both of which are free to download. So I'm just going to click right here and say CSV. And I click that guy, and it downloads property assessment. You see I've already done it here. So um, property assessment CSV. The other one I want to get, so that's our that's kind of our that's going to be our attribute table that will join to the shape file. The other piece of data that we want to get is Boston Parcels 2014. Okay, interesting. Um, we're in a different website now, but apparently the city of Boston supports it because they've got the link from their website to here. And this says it's a polygon layer contains all property parcels in Boston. Each parcel has a unique map number that links it to a record in the assessing department's main parcel inventory system. Cool. Um, I think that looks good. It's only 15 megabytes. That's encouraging. Um, so how do we download it? What do we do? Open. Then we say download. All right. Go ahead and, and download that one too.
and bring these into my unit 4 folder. I'm going to extract the zipped file. Okay, let's go ahead and bring in that parcels 14. Interesting. So now we can kind of see the, the big swaths of, of different sizes of parcels. Um, of course, my guess is that this parcel over here is probably the airport. Um, you zoom in here to downtown Boston, and you can kind of see the residential areas by the, the small fractures of parcels. Um, I think this is South Boston here. Um, yeah, very interesting. You know, north is the north end here. And um, let's open up the attribute table and see what's going on. And you'll see that, oh yeah, there's a lot of features here. Yep, it doesn't have any information besides um, several IDs. It has parcel, PID, long, WPD. Um, so I think this is what we have to work with. And in order to get attributes that we care about um, that relate to each individual parts, parcel, we actually need to look at our other table. So let's go ahead and look at that other table. And I'm actually going to just go to the .csv over here and just drag it in and see if, um, see if it can import it automatically. Okay, my version of Q took quite a while to import that CSV. Um, it's probably because it's a very large uh, number of records. I'm going to open up the attribute table. Remember, this doesn't have a geography, it's just an attribute table, and we want to join it to our, our shapefile. But we can still view the attribute table in QGIS. So I'm going to open it up so we can look at the table. And yeah, it looks like there's, there's a lot of features, even more, more features than are found in the parcel, the other parcel data. So we'll see what's going on. Yeah, look at all this information. This is great, just like what we're looking for here. Um, we can play around with that. But there's so many features that I kind of want to focus. I want to focus our, our efforts. So I think you'll see, aha, there's a zip code here. And I think that it would be kind of nice if we could limit our, our kind of our project to only a certain number of zip codes because, you know, I don't think we need to look at all of what's technically the city of Boston. I just want to look at the downtown area. So I just want to look at this region right here. Um, you know, maybe we can expand it to include um, Southie and Charleston and a couple of the ones that are just just outside downtown Boston. But what we don't have is a zip code shapefile. So that's going to be our next um, effort in the next video is to find a zip code shapefile so we can kind of decide where um, where we want to limit our analysis to. And you'll notice that in our parcel attribute table we don't actually even have a zip code. It would be super nice if we did, but we don't. So we need to download a separate file that's a zip code shapefile so that we can limit the scope of our analysis.